Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and today we're going to learn all about flams. Flams are grace note rudiments. Along with roughs, drags, and cheeses, they make up our vocabulary for grace note drum rudiments. And they're used in rudimental snare drumming, they're used in drum set playing, and they're used in orchestral and concert band playing. So they're very important. So the first thing we'll do today is talk about a flam. The sticking for a flam is left, right, and then right, left. One note is small, that's the grace note. The second note that hits, that's what flam it is. So if I start with my left hand, we want to create a picture that looks like this. So the second note is the flam that it is. So this is a left hand flam, this is a right hand flam. Now that kind of seesaw up and down motion is very important to playing flams correctly. It's kind of a picture that you want to have in your head when you're playing these. Now, flams can be played bounced. Or they can be played entirely with your wrists. Using these two techniques, you can control how open the flam is. In other words, sometimes, like if we're playing on drum set, if we're playing Latin music, we want our flams to be pretty open. So you see there, I'm using a little more wrist. If we want them a little more close, there I'm using a combination of bouncing and wrist. And of course, your mileage may vary with how you play, but if you're going to play pretty relaxed, you're going to need to use a combination of wrist and fingers and bouncing of the stick to create flams in different styles. So let's start off with some flam rudiments. I've gone over these already in my rudiments video, but we'll go over them again. I'll play each rudiment briefly uh, at different speeds. So the regular uh, flam is a rudiment and it should just sound like this. And the next one would be flam accents, and that sounds like this. And next we have flam taps, and that sounds like this. Next are flam accus. And they should be alternated. Next we have flam paradiddles. Now the faster they go, the more closed those flams are going to get. All right, uh, next are flam mills. And that's a bounce rudiment. Next we have the difficult flam paradiddle diddle using mostly wrists. Next, we have the pata fla fla, which is two flams in a row. Now, we'll show you several variations of this in a little, little while here. Next is the Swiss triplet. And uh, these can be done with two stickings. We'll start with the right hand sticking. And 
here's the left hand sticking. The next rudiment is an inverted flam tap, again, almost entirely done with the wrists. That's another tricky one. And finally, we have the flam drag, which is a flam with a drag following it. So those are the basic flam rudiments. There are some flam hybrid rudiments. We're not going to go over those today. You can find those online. They're much more difficult. But these are the basic uh, PAS flam rudiments. Okay. So in my book, uh, the Three Camps book, it's called Let's Go Camping. I have a number of flam exercises in the back, starting on page 40. And I want to go over some of these with you because I've written these over the years to address problems that students have had with flams. And it's a very common thing that a student will play a flam like this. That's a flat flam, okay? And while there's definitely a place for these, especially on drum set, that's not what we're gonna be talking about today. So it's always important, like I said earlier, to remember your motion. So that up and down motion is done with, again, a combination of the wrists and the fingers. So these exercises is all deal with using the wrists and or the fingers. So I'll talk about those. And the ones that use the fingers, we're going to call those bounce exercises. The ones that use the wrist, we're going to call those wrist exercises. And most are a combination of both. So if you turn to page 40, and we'll post this on the screen, you see the first one there number 16, and it's a flam tap exercise. And I'll do these at two tempos for you. So we'll start with quarter note equals 90. And uh, these are written in 16ths, obviously. So these are flam taps for one bar, and then they reverse. So here's that at 90. One, two, three, four, Now you can see there, that's a bounce exercise. So I'm hardly using any wrist at all. Now, when we go faster, let's say we do it now at 120, which is quite a bit faster. I'm gonna use a little more wrist to get those accents. One, two, three, four. So you see there how I'm, I'm doing the flams a bit tighter, obviously, because it's faster, and I'm using my wrists to play those accents. The next one, number 17, is a uh, flam accent exercise. Uh, it's kind of a pyramid. It starts long and just whittles down to a shorter phrase. So let's try that slowly at 120, and we'll put the triplet on here. One, two, three, four. Again, you see there when I'm playing it slower, I'm using almost all bounce strokes. Now let's play a little faster. Let's say 150. One, two, three, four.
So again, a little more wrist as we go faster. And it's not a forced wrist, it's very relaxed. But it's try to bounce as much as possible. The next one is number 18. And we'll slow that down again and do that a quarter note equals 90 for you. And then we'll put that on 16 so you can hear that. One, two, three, four. Again, this keeps happening, right? Completely bounced when it's slower. And when we go faster, we're gonna still bounce, but tighten up the flams and use a little more wrist. One, two, three, four. So that's very fast, and the flams are much tighter, almost uh, together, but not. You can still hear them, so they're not flat. The next one, number 19, is done with all wrists, and we'll do that at just one tempo for you. That's a good one. Uh, at 160 equals the quarter, the quarter note, yeah. So, and we'll take off that 16th. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, so that's a good one for just wrists. Now, the next one, number 20, is pretty difficult. And we'll do that with a triplet subdivision at 74, just the one tempo. So let's get that. OK, and we'll put it on triplets. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a combination of flam double paradiddles and flam paradiddle diddles. So there we're using, again, a combination of wrists and fingers. But there's a lot of wrist in there because of the three strokes that are in both those rudiments. Now, the next one, again, is a wrist uh, exercise. And we'll do that at dotted quarter note equals 65. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of the hardest ones there, you see how I have to use a lot of wrist to get those doubles to come out. Again, three strokes because you've got the flam before the primary note. Now, if we turn the page and go to number 22, this is going to be a completely bounced exercise here. So let's do this at 100, and we'll put on the subdivision. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's a flam paradiddle exercise. And the next one, number 23, this deals with groups of five. And we'll have to just play the corner note on this. And let's do this at two different tempos for you. First, we'll start with 80. And I'll play some five so you can get the sound of that. And if we do that a little faster, let's say 94 or so. One, two, three, four. Now, 
All right, that's a good one. A lot of risk there when we go faster. Now we'll skip ahead and we'll do that pot of fla fla uh, rudiment that we talked about earlier. Now there's four variations of pot of fla fla. You can have the flam on the first and the last beat of that four note grouping. You can have it on the second two beats. You can have it on the middle two beats or the first two beats. So this exercise does it all in that in this little exercise. So let's say we let's do this two tempos. We'll put on the subdivision. And you always want to do that so you can hear if you're playing evenly when possible. And we'll uh, play this for you at two tempos. So the first tempo is quarter note equals 94. One, two, three, four. All right, and that's mostly all bounce. And now we'll try to maybe uh, 106. One, two, three, four. Again, another tough one and a lot of wrist when you're playing it faster to make those flams come out. And again, as you go faster, the flams are going to be a little more closed. Let's see if we have any more for you. Yeah, let's just try one more, and we'll do something in odd times for you. Uh, this is number 33 on page 43, and we'll do this one at one tempo. Uh, let's just say eighth note equals 200. Now, uh, this is kind of a flam drag exercise, so... So this is most uh, all the way bounced through. You're going to do your wrist for the flams, but then you're going to let everything else drop and bounce those strokes. Won't do it that fast. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's a fun one. So that's in five. And there's lots and lots of exercises in the book. Towards the end, there's a whole chapter of them. Uh, these are the ones that I used to develop flams. And I've written a lot of them for students over the years who've had certain problems in maybe an etude, this or that, to try to fix that. So you want to play these many, many times at, de at different tempos and different dynamics as well. Now, again, I'm using a pad today because I've been playing lots and lots of snare drum and I don't want to have to use earplugs and, and I want to be able to use a metronome so you can hear things. So that's why we're using a pad today. And if you have questions, this is just a regular old drum mute practice pad. Has a little bit of a ring, this one. My other one is in a different place right now. So they vary, the older ones, they all sounded different. The new Sabians basically all sound the same. So I think you're pretty safe there. Okay, now let's talk about using some of the three camps exercises for developing uh, your flam rudiments. So these are great because there's a lot of redundancy built in. You're basically just playing the same thing over and over again with the three camps accent pattern, which if you remember is this. So that's the accent pattern that I use in every single one of these exercises. This will be flam accents, a really common, great rudiment, great for drum set, great for all kinds of things. Anything in 6-8, 12-8, or triplet based, this is a really good rudiment. So a good tempo for these is anywhere from 140 to 150. Let's split the difference and do like 146. And it's good to put on the subdivision for these. 
One, two, three, four. Okay, so you get the idea. Just go through that the same way. Now, one thing I want to talk about with this rudiment is it's a bounce rudiment. So there's not a lot of doubles. Well, there aren't any doubles, really, except for when you come back with the flam. So these you can really just throw the stick and let the bounce do its thing. And you see there on the third camp how I'm doing that double flam. That's going to be with your wrist. Okay. Now the next one is a drum set favorite. This is uh, Swiss Army triplets. So this is obviously one of the rudiments I played for you earlier. And it can be done with two stickings, leading with the right or leading with the left. So these can go very, very fast. A good tempo for this would be from 190 to 200. And again, based on triplets, we'll try the right hand sticking first. One, two, three, four. And, you know, put the subdivision on, try to get as close to that as you can. And the other sticking is with the left hand. All right, and the same thing, just go through that with the left hand. It's very important to do both stickings. And these are great things to do on drum set, on the toms, on the cymbals. They work well in jazz. Just a good rudiment to have under your belt. Next, we can go to page 29, and these are flam drags. So if you remember what I played earlier when I displayed those rudiments, this is a lot of wrist, this rudiment, so it's tricky. Don't go too fast. 120 is a good max tempo. All right, you get the idea. So again, I've recorded all these already. You can look those up on the Three Camps playlist, and I do them two tempos. The next exercise on page 30 is flam taps. So these are very important, and they're bounced. They're mostly done with a bounce stroke. Now, as you go faster, the flams, again, get tighter, and you're going to play lower. So. But when you're slower, you're going to almost exclusively bounce those notes. And you want to rely on the weight of the stick to create that bounce. So a little bit more height and just use the stick. Let the stick do the work. You don't want to do this. That's all wrist, OK? And I'll, you can go faster. But if you bounce it, you know, the sky's the limit to your tempo. So we'll try this one at 210. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, I did that whole thing because it's so short. That's a really, really good one to do. 
Now, finally, when you've done a lot of this and you've gone through the rudiments and you've done the exercises and you've done three camps for a while, here's one thing you can do that's pretty interesting. And again, lends itself to drum set playing as well. It's a kind of an improv exercise you can do using any kind of rhythm. So uh, in, in this book, if you went to page 48, and we've used these rhythms lots and lots in these videos, so you, you get the gist of what we're about to do probably. I like to do improvisation with stickings. In this case, we would use flams. So if you set the metronome uh, on a slower tempo than 210, we would hope. Uh, let's say we do it, uh, I don't know, maybe 110. What you can do is play these, I'll turn that off. What we can do, you can do is play these uh, rhythms as flams. So slowly, Now, I am um, playing these a little bit kind of funky and open on purpose because we want to create kind of a jazz-like inflection to them. We don't want to play them really stiff. We want to be able to use these on drum set for phrasing, for soloing, things like that. So they can have some personality. So I would definitely do these slow. Now, by slow, I'd say like quarter note equals 80 and then get up to our 110 tempo. So like this. And you can use all the stickings that we've used in our rudiments, okay? Or you can use singles. You can make up stuff. You can do single hand stuff. The idea is to improvise and to do it different every time. If we move this up in tempo a little, like 110, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. All right, so you get the idea there. So it's much faster. If you go to line six, that's where it gets hard. Maybe I should play that for you. I'll play you line six. One, two, three, four. So you can even turn the page and do the two note groupings like this. Uh, we'll put the metronome on. Go a little slower. Let's say 90. One, two, three, four. All right, and you see, again, I'm playing kind of funky on purpose, very open flams. So uh, if you practice all these flam exercises uh, every day, like I do these, you know, a certain amount of them every day for maybe 10, 15 minutes. I'll pick one out. I'll pick a three camps thing out. And then you need to apply them. And the best way to do that is to play the Wilcox and stuff, the Pratt stuff, really any number of modern rudimental solos. I have... Uh, exercises in my book broad strokes that tap space publishes i have one exercise all about flams it's called flam this and there's tons and tons of crazy flam rudiments and you can hear me play all those uh here on my um broad strokes playlist so if you look under that you'll see a lot of those and you'll see those things applied in a musical manner but the first thing to do is get your technique under control so you can control them now, the next video we'll do will be on drags, uh, roughs, and cheeses. 
So stay tuned for that. I'll probably put that up in a few days. Thanks.